When you're producing videos as part of a series, say a YouTube playlist for example, you'll likely find yourself structuring and branding each episode in a similar fashion. This keeps your content recognisable to your audience and can even enable you as an editor to create more content because you're not starting from scratch every time you edit. And that's where timeline templates come in. These start off each editing process with a rough structure of your video so you can focus on the content that lies within each individual episode. So for example, here at LumaTouch we have various YouTube series and for each one I have a timeline which acts as a rough template for the video. Although the subject and content of each one is different, here in our Did You Know video series you can see each one starts with an introductory title with the title transitioning across. Next, we have a member of our customer support crew roll into the bottom left of the frame with a green circular shape appear behind them. Their name is always in this space above with this area reserved for content relevant to the episode. After the presenter has introduced the video, we cut to a screen recording where a voiceover details a tip, trick or technique that can be achieved in LumaFusion. Then we have a piece to camera at the end of the episode in the same style as the beginning, followed by a title card encouraging audiences to communicate with us in the comments below. Now, if I had to produce that exact same branding time and time again from a fresh new project, firstly, it would take a lot longer to edit. And secondly, the episodes might not look exactly uniform as I try to get the graphics and the colors to look exactly the same between the episodes. Instead, I've made a timeline template to position all the base layers on the timeline that I know I'm going to need. See here how I've colour coded the clips so I can quickly see which is which, the presenter parts in purple, graphic and text layers in orange and screen recordings in red. I've also renamed the clips using the information panel. So there is my timeline template for the Did You Know LumaTouch video series. For each new episode filmed and sent to me by the team, I duplicate the project timeline template as to preserve the original. I then rename for the video I'm working on and I import my media and start to edit. I can see each portion that needs to be changed or inserted and can simply jump on in and get to work. What's great is that when you replace one clip for another, the new clip you're inserting will take on the properties that the original timeline had. So in this example, the keyframing movement where the presenter rolls into the screen is preserved, but I can of course alter this if I need to. Following this structure of inserting your new content into your timeline template, you can just keep editing away at your new episode, safe in the knowledge that everything you need for the branding of the video is already on the timeline in the right order. Not only will your videos look lovely and uniform when played back one after the other, but by using these timeline templates, it means you've got more time to put energy into editing the unique content and storyline of each episode, ensuring it stands out in its own right. That's all from us for this week from the LumaTouch Academy, but please, as always, do leave your comments and questions below and we'll get right to them. See you soon.